we're going to create Cisco ICE lab and installation. We're going to GNS3 and here in QCAF2, we're going to explore the Cisco ICE version 3 and the folder here, which is contain the file, which is vert ioa.qcaf 3 or whatever you want to call it like that. And of course, I'm going to add a network which it helps for Cisco eyes will say yes or whatever if you don't like you can say no and this is the first time that I'm uh, logging into my Cisco eyes as it's Jones all right guys in today's video I'm going to talk about how we can install or deploy Cisco eyes version 3 on Eve ng so we're going to talk about where to download Cisco IS QCAF2 format and then we're going to say how we can upload Cisco IS into your Eve NG and apply the wrapper fix permissions. And lastly, we're going to create Cisco IS lab and installation. We're going to install it completely in this video and we're going to connect to Cisco IS from our local PC to manage the web interface. So before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video and turn the notification to make sure that you will receive the latest video for installing or deploying any node in uh, Eve NG product. So the first off, where to download uh, Cisco ICE QCAF2, of course, you can download the ISO version from the Cisco website, but if you don't have the access to the Cisco website here, you can actually go to the product in our website, Dynamips Data Store, and here we have the great product, which is Eve NG Image Collection, download latest QCAF2 Dynamips IOL images for all vendors, and here, once you have buy this product which is let me show you these are the images and the rest of them as you can see they are the latest and all vendors something like cisco juniper fortigate and something like sd van rotors and the rest of them as you can see of course windows and linux and once you buy this product you will have access to the service like this. So we'll go to the Eve NG folder or GNS3 and here in QCAF2, uh, we're gonna explore the Cisco ICE version three and this is the ISO file. Of course, you can deploy it in your VMware workstation as a virtual machine or into your ESXi and then you can use this version to deploy it in your Eve NG or GNS3. So simply you should right click and download this version. So here I'm having this version which is vert ioa.qcaf2. We're gonna upload this version which is already converted to the Eve NG, no need any uh, convert command or things like that, which is easy for you to upload it into your Eve NG like me here in today's video. So we're gonna connect to the Eve NG by FileZilla here. If you wanna know where to download FileZilla, you should just go to uh, Google and type FileZilla and here you can download the latest version of FileZilla. Of course, you can use WinSCP to upload the QCAF2 image to your Eve NG. So let's minimize this. And here, as I said, I have the QCAF2 format. So let me copy this path and we're gonna put it here in the computer or local side of your FileZilla. And of course, this is the Eve NG site. So, That's great. And here in uh, Eve NG, we're gonna go to Opt, Unit Lab, Add-ons, Chemo, and we're gonna go back and just upload the name of the folder here, which is contain the file, which is vert ioa.qcaf2. So simply we're gonna upload it here in the Chemo folder of the Eve NG. 
So we will wait to upload uh, this version of QCOV2 for Cisco Eyes to our EVE NG. So now we have successfully uploaded our Cisco Eyes QCOV2 format to the EVE NG. So that's great. And now we're going to go to the lab here simply on EVE NG. We're going to create the lab. And here, let's say eyes three or whatever you want to call it and before we start again we should go to the eve ng and apply the fix permission command so let's say cd opt unit lab add-ons chemo and eyes three and this is the exact path as you can see and we're gonna apply this command so that's good. We'll copy it and simply put it here and we'll press enter. So now is the time to add Cisco eyes simply by typing eyes. And here you can add the memory, CPU, or whatever you want. So let's say to virtual CPU, or we can increase the RAM, something like 10 gigabyte or things like that. And of course, I'm going to add a network which it helps us actually to connect to ice from our pc here so and then we're gonna connect it so that's great so simply we're gonna say start so now this is the cisco ice installation which we can say the initial installation for cisco ice and here simply we should type setup to install uh, Cisco ICE in our Eve NG product. So the installation takes about 20 or maximum 30 minutes based on your HDD. If you have SSD, of course, it will install faster and uh, the installation is very easy. And then we can connect to Cisco ICE from our PC. So, and let me actually make it maximum size here once you type setup to configure the cisco ice it will prompt you for the name let's say ice 3 and here it said the ip address of course it's going to be the ip address that you're going to use in your lab or things like that and the mask again i will type the mask and here's the default gateway. I will use my modem default gateway. And no need for IPv6 installation. Enter the default DNS name, let's say lab.local. And here is set the primary server, let's say again my modem and the secondary, no need for secondary and NTP again, no need for NTP. I will Press just enter to escape the NTP server installation and uh, enter system time zone will accept the default and will press enter to accept the UTC time zone and here uh, enable SSH service for Cisco eyes will say yes or whatever if you don't like you can say no and enter username let's say admin and the password and again we'll confirm the password so it's going to bring up the interface up for us and let me do continuous ping that's okay now EVNG is going to initiate the network configuration and we will wait for the configuration here in Cisco Ice to install the application on this uh, EVNG lab. So I'm going to pause at this video and I will get back once the Cisco Ice is installed completely. So now as you can see we have successfully installed Cisco ICE version 3 and simply here by typing admin which is the username and the password so that's great and here we'll say show 
application status eyes to see the status of our Cisco eyes application. And we'll go back here simply. Let's ping the Cisco eyes here again, which I think is going to be sorry, this IP address. Yes. And of course, you can type the IP address. And once you hit enter, you will be redirected to the admin portal of Cisco Ice. So, and here we'll type admin and the password. So you can use the CLI password even for the web interface. And here, sorry, here, in the console we can see the application server here is running that's great so here it said you can add your cisco id we'll select provide later and notice here we have 90 days that you can practice your Cisco eyes in your lab, which is enough that even you can practice two or three courses. So that's great. And this is the first time that I am uh, logging into my Cisco eyes as it's Jones. It is a fresh installation of uh, Cisco eyes. So that's great. This is how you can install Cisco Ice on Eve NG with the QCOV2 format, which is very easy. And notice that this is actually it's going to be 16 gigabyte. So that means this is the QCOV2 format. So this QCOV2 format of Ice is already compressed. That means if you don't compress it, you will see that it's around 50 or 60 gigabyte. But now, as you can see, it's only 16 gigabyte after an installation here. Uh, let me show you. Eve NG Ice or things like that. So notice here how you can install the ISO file, which is right here in the EVNG website. When you scroll down here, you can see that they recommend you actually to make it the compress file here in the advanced instruction here. Note that they're going actually to use this command to compress the existing vert IOA and then they're going to remove the original one here and here we just make it the compress version that is going to be this version is 9 gigabyte but this version which is the new version of the Cisco ice you can download from the file server is 16 gigabyte and that means here we also have this version for you that you can upload it to your EVNG and it is 16 gigabyte. It's already compressed, but before I compress this version, it was 15 or I think 52 gigabyte. So that's great. You can take benefit of how you can compress the heavy image, which here it says it is very super heavy node. That's great. It will need more memory and CPU, but of course you can run with 10 gigabyte or eight gigabyte or things like that. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and please like this video and share it with other and leave a comment if you have question about how you can install Cisco eyes in Eve Engine.